previously on The Curse. Hey, Auntie Kit. I feel bored and grinding. I just really wanted to change my class, but I just remember what you said to consult you first. Good. Because so far, we are not liking what we are decoding and seeing on The Curse 2.0. So far, here's the new info that we got. Before you can change class, you have to get a legendary cosmetic or a best purple set piece starting from the lowest dungeon on Dungeon Quest. Huh? Uh, can you clear that up? Based on your record as an Obito, you have gotten a legendary and a cosmetic on Winter Outpost. You also got a cosmetic on Volcanic Chambers. That means you need to get a legendary, cosmetic, or a purple piece starting from Desert Temple. So it means I need to drop a legendary or a cosmetic on Desert Temple first before I can switch? Yes, but since you already dropped a legend from Winter Outpost, that would cover up your second class switch. Hmm, so I just need a good drop from Desert Temple for me to switch class twice, but for the third time, I need to get a good drop from the third dungeon which is the Pirate Island. Do I really need to do that? Sadly, yes. Otherwise, consequence will be painful. Your character would go back to level 1 again. Remember to consult me first before making any move. Be careful. Ah, I'm so bored. Why? What's wrong, Karen? I wanted to start using the curse so I can just get what I want, just as you promised. We are still not finished on it. Otherwise, everything will fall apart if it will be compromised. Can't we make it a bit faster? Gosh, I feel like I've been waiting for ages. Have you already forgotten how people ignore you except me? You were even raging on people because they were not giving you what you want. Only me approached you, and no one else did. You can get your sweet revenge to everyone anytime you want. Just be patient. <sighs> Whatever. And we are now back again here on World Zero. Another day, another grinding day again for our series. How's your day, guys? How's school? Ah, <sighs> alright, so it's now about time for us to go to world- Wait, something's wrong with my character. Why do I look different? Um... Wait. What? Did I got, like, two legendary armors already? Hmm... What's happening? That was weird. Can't remember unequipping it. Let me check my bank. What? Where are my legendary armors? Oh no. Oh well. I'm just gonna go to Auntie Chit. Something's wrong. Hey, Auntie Chit. I got a problem. What's the matter, Snow? I lost the legendary armors that I got. How is that even possible? I guess I am too late. What do you mean? What's happening? First of all, the report about the curse being used seems to be wrong and fake. And in fact, we found out that only those who got the Nabito curse got cursed as well on World Zero. Which is very weird considering that Hex was even working with someone else. Isn't that a good thing? Honestly, I have no clue. But I have a bad feeling about this. Anyway, additional info about the curse. It was found that if you will get a legendary of the same gear, the system will delete both of them once you log out. Are you kidding me? Of course no. Getting multiple legendary is okay, but if you will get two times legendary of the same gear part, 
That's where the unfair curse kicks in. Then that was the reason how I lost both of my legendary armors. One of them even got a legendary perk. Does that also work on weapons? Because if it does, then how am I supposed to have double legendary for dual weapon class later in the end game? It would not. The curse will just delete both legendaries if one was equipped and the other one is in your bag. Oh, this sucks. Oh well, I will now continue leveling up on World 3. Thanks for the info, Auntie Chit. Why do you look mad, Hex? Ah, uh, nothing. It was just because of snow. Imagine that, he named his fat frog after my name. Isn't that a good thing? How's it a good thing? He named his pet Hex Sax. Cause maybe that's true. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, what's the progress of our curse? Ha, funny. The curse is on the right track. Everything is going according to our plan. Snow is already on the World 3. He is leveling up fast as expected. Can't wait for him to reach the tower. Why? I'll tell you soon, don't worry. For now, just be confident that everything is going according to our plan. I'm gonna win this time. Okay, if you say so. Just make sure that you are not wasting my resources. That that was the reason why. Oh man, this is so unfair. Well, before we can go to world number three, we need to finish all the quests here. So let me just kill some killer deals. Okay, this should be the last one. There you go. All right. Lame. Aw, oh, come on. Do not give me this trash. Only color gray. I'm gonna sell it. Oh, come on. Another 35 kills for poison cobras. Okay, this should be the last one. Alright, there you go. Easy peasy. Nice. It's now about time for us to visit the world number 3 and the only thing that I'm really worried about the world number 3 will be the second dungeon here. So yeah, I hope that we can solo it because I read a lot of comments saying that I would have a hard time on the dungeon number 3, I mean the world number 3, dungeon number 2 and since I actually lost my legendary armor, Probably it can actually be hard. <laughs> anyway, let's now go to the very first dungeon here. I believe that this is gonna be the moose boss, right? Yeah, I think so. Ooh, I'm really happy that we are now here on world number three because, you know, it's winter here. There's a lot of snow and I really do not want to fail here. I mean, we are on a streak. We still haven't uh, died. Well, we still haven't had any failed dungeon yet. So it would be really awesome. We will be able to make it out perfect here. Okay, this is just my most favorite part of every single dungeon. Like any anything that you can do this, any part of the dungeon, as long as you can lure the mobs, like multiple mobs, stacking them together and then attacking them, seeing a lot of damage. That's really satisfying in my opinion. But yeah, one thing that I really like about the world number three is the snow raptor as well. They run fast, it's easy to lure them, so it just makes the run faster. It is opposite, however, here for the flowers. Be oh, just look at that, guys. I just really hate the slow effect of the ice flower. Oh, and by the way, guys, let me just also correct myself on world number two. I really thought that that was uh, ice flower, but it seems that it was the electric flower. Well, they are both color blue, so yeah, that was an 
honest mistake, so I'm really sorry. I'm not trying to misinform you, but yeah, you already get it, right? <laughs> it's wait, oh come on, look at that candy corn. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you're also on this same dungeon where I'm at right now, it is really advisable for you. The same as on world number two, always attack the flower first all right in any situation always attack the flower first because they're just really annoying and they're also a ranged mob so let's see our damage actually our damage is still pretty good considering that our weapons are still from world number two well this is only the first dungeon i'm still also worried about the the second dungeon because i i knew how how cancerous it was before but we'll see. One more tip that I can give you here if you're also in world number three is just disregard the snow raptor. Actually guys, it doesn't matter which world you are, as long as there are mobs that are walking or running fast just like the snow raptor, you can just disregard them and just go straight to those golems or any mobs that walk slow. All right, because basically those snow raptors or fast mobs will just follow you and while you are killing those slow mobs, pretty sure that you will hit them as well together with them and that would make your run faster. Let me use my buff, there you go. Oh boy, the HP of these golems are really low compared to the last time that I remember how it was. I mean guys, the last time that I played um, this game, the World Zero on beta version, it was uh, when the world 3 was the final dungeon all right er almost everything are still tradable unlike now I think uh, it was because of the previous problem and also the glitch that they had on their trading system that's the reason why they made almost everything not tradable just to avoid that to happen again but yeah uh, they're, they're also got we also got some wipe on our gold and stuff because before it doesn't have any any cap i believe i think the the cap was like 1 billion uh, i'm not sure but yeah it was just because of that problem but anyway we are now about to approach the final boss here and it's gonna be the deer or the moose one pretty sure so oh yeah i still can't remember this this can stun you as well so let's see how would we damage him let me just cast my ultimate. Oh my god. No, that was a bad timing. Yeah, we lost a lot of DPS there. And yeah, if you guys are wondering why am I using the frog, the frog is still good because it has a DPS. And uh, I can also try to get the, a pet raptor here, but considering that the DPS raptor is the more rarer one, I think that it's not going to be efficient for me to gamble my gold there i would just uh, rather upgrade or use my gold to upgrade my gears but that's the reason why uh, i'm just gonna keep my frog uh, well he's already rank 39 only needs like uh, maybe 10 exp or 5 exp to level up to 40 so yeah from then on level 40 skill of the frog is really really good as a dps but it's not the best of course but can't complain about it oh my god i really hate this kind of stun but yeah i mean look at our damage is he's about to die already man yeah i think that it's gonna be still an easy dungeon for us so that's good news it means that we will be able to chill a bit there you go easy peasy all right well i'm not really excited about the loot here because there's no legendary <laughs> oh we just leveled up to level 33 there you go nice and a blue one come on a weapon please oh oh yeah an armor yeah i'll take that just to give you a comparison guys on the hp nerf that i was talking about the hp of this boss is kind of like maybe the same as how you will kill two golems like those uh, two frozen golems all right so those two frozen golems the hp of them were really really hanky before but for some reason they are now only you can you can kill them like for for doing maybe two to three skills uh if you are a berserker pretty sure it's only two skill but yeah it's just really ridiculous how they made it easier but i think it's good for you guys especially for those mobile players because they will be laggy oh come on get out of here all are gray oh man i'm so hungry come on just die boys level 35 is the requirement for the next dungeon so i would probably take a break after i reach 35 but yeah i mean <laughs> 
I think that we're doing good anyway. And it, I really find it boring if it's really easy like this. <laughs> and that's the reason why as well I, I am always uh, trying to think of a way to make how to make it harder. But <clears throat> come on. There you go. Oh, I had a mist again. Wait, what? I'm not damaging him. Yo, no way. Ah. Why? Yo, this is so annoying. Come on, man. Well, that sucks. I was already like halfway of the dungeon, but it's okay. Nothing that we can do. This is gonna be our final dungeon, and as you guys can see, I'm already level 35, already enough, and I already met the requirement for the second dungeon. But yeah, I really need to slow myself down, otherwise, it's gonna be so fast, and I will not have any chance to have the storyline applied in the, in the whole series, so I need to take a break as well. I really need to slow it down, slow down the pacing because I do not want to rush everything, especially the storyline because I know that many of you guys are watching the video, especially if, because of the storyline as well. So I do not have any other choice but to make the video shorter, but I hope that you guys understand. Before anything else, let me just put my pet here, I mean my egg and the incubator. And I think that we need to upgrade our weapons because we need a lot of DPS or maybe more DPS for the second dungeon here on world number 3 because those raptors can just uh, heal themselves up so obviously we need to kill them as fast as we can. But anyway I'm just gonna take a break so yeah that's gonna be it for this episode I guess. <laughs> I'm really sorry I need to slow it down but yeah it's just so easy guys it's just so easy. Oh well later. <laughs>